Welcome to another late night edition of CRAP News. I'm your anchor, Barry Broadtrousers, and this is the news. Today we have yet, yet another remarkable yet rather bizarre story of Arctic animals trying to find a habitat. Yes, you guessed it folks, right here in Enchanting England. We now go live to our out and about reporter, Tiffany Bussenworth, at a local unnamed catering business. Thanks Barry, there's absolute chaos here as people flock from all over the country just to see this unbelievable scene. You may have seen this recent advert and be touched in more ways than one, but none of us would have thought the answer would lie so close to home. We're here in a crap news report to tell you more. Come on! There's a Hello, bowler bear the in there. Hello? Hello? Morning? Hello? Hello? Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, so, Mr. Paul Bear, um, what's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Reykjavik and this is my wife, Mika. This is your new home? Uh, uh, y yes, it is actually. Um, it's, it, it's homey. Of course, there's not, not a lot of snow. Boris! Don't you dare compare this place to our, our home! You people! This is our last resort! Mika, Mika, <laughs> don't cry! Oh, dearest Mika. Oh, we've been through hard times. We were so happy when we lived as a family in the Arctic. Oh, we used to play in the snow. Me, Mika and Baby Bear. <laughs> Then the snows melted, and we had to swim for miles to this rainy isle, and live in these refrigerators. <laughs> oh. Oh. Baby Ben, no! But Daddy, these people did this to us. Well, that's all from us here. Back to the studio. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure the residents of Bolton will bear with it for the moment. <laughs> oh, dear me. Well, another news today, it seems Bolton Wanderers have wonder. Hold on a minute. Why, Bin Laden, it's Tornado! It seems we've just received news of possibly the most exciting news story since CRAP's coverage of Agatha, the 107 year old swinger. Yes, folks, yet another animal has graced us with its presence. We go live now to Pat McCrotch at the, at the site of this frankly shocking revelation. Pat McCrotch here reporting for CRAP News, and I've seen the most extraordinary story of my life. No, not an environmentally aware American, but a zebra right here in this greenhouse. Let's go. This is a CRAP exclusive. Hello, my friend. I come in peace and with many questions. Hey, are you what they call a retard? I've heard so much about you. Uh, no, I just wasn't sure if you spoke English or not. Hey, what do you take me for? A hippo? Stupid. Leave me alone. I've got business to do. I, I, I'm sorry, my friend. I didn't mean to offend you. My name is Pat. Pat McCrotch. And yours is... <laughs> my name is Kwame Nkrumah the Third. Well, Mr. Kwame, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Hey, okay, come on fast, fast. I don't got time. What is it exactly that you're doing here? <laughs> I've been personally chosen by Her Majesty the Queen on an epic quest. What exactly is this quest you speak of? Ah, well, back home in Ethiopia, everything, everything, we are suffering from this plight of desertification. All our grass and everything is all turning to dust. Desert everywhere. We don't have anything to eat, no water to drink. What, what to do? I don't know what the causes are, but they say it is either climate change or possibly human activity. Um. So, so what exactly is happening in Ethiopia? Well, mainly it's because of uh, poor farming that is caused as well as, you know, over cultivation of the land. So it's putting too much strain on it. But also as well as that, you know, it's overgrazing on our part. <laughs> I see. And is there anything in this great nation that we can do to help? Well, of course. Maybe, I don't know, for say, if you build wells or maybe educate the farmers so they know what they are doing properly. But then maybe, if that there's change we can believe in, can we do it? Yes, well, yes we can. We are now joined by video link, um, Pear the Frog, a scientist all the way from France to give us some answers. So, Pear. What's going on? The Earth is gradually warming due to increased levels of greenhouse gases and CO2 in the atmosphere. 
This is partly due to the human population and their strange obsession with using cars and the enormity of their industrial production. So, what does this mean for the future of planet Earth? We are beginning to see massive changes in the world's weather systems, whilst in some areas increased rainfall is causing more frequent floods and natural disasters. In others, rising temperatures is causing prolonged drought and famines. Oh, really? These changes are also having huge effects on the planet's polar ice caps, which are now threatening the existence of all polar bears. Oh, someone's written on my wall on Facebook. They are struggling to survive, as the ground is literally disappearing beneath them. Yeah, and? For example, the, the zebras. There is simply not enough water for them to survive. Without rain, plants and trees can't grow, and these animals have nothing left to drink. They will die. Barry, are you listening to me? Do you realise what is going on? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm... This is why the animals are coming to England, France, Spain, all over the world. It's a big problem, and it's just only going to get worse if we don't do something now. Now for a top story of the day. Tiffany Bosomworth tells us why she thought her child would make an excellent doorstop. Hello and welcome to Celebrity News. Main headlines today, Cheryl Cole has been spotted in Hull wearing a rabbit fur coat and it is gorgeous. Really? Yeah, I don't think we can mention fur. Let's move on. Angelina Jolie has gone to Malachi to add to her 58 strong mood. 58. 58. 58. It's 59. It's 58. We're filming, it's 59. Okay, 59. 58. And Madonna's now losing so she's going to be very disappointed with that. I think that's all for today. I think that's all you need to know that's important in the world from your celebrity girlies. Bye! Bye. Thanks Barry. The residents of Bolton could expect some heavy rainfall at the start of this week with parts of Farnworth completely underwater. The rain will wear off during the course of Monday night to Tuesday morning with some light drizzle. Now then, Tuesday night will be particularly windy with a wind speed at a minimum of 6 to 3 miles per hour, so remember to chain down your sheds. The wind will unfortunately bring in some storm clouds, so expect some heavy thunder and lightning. However, the clouds will move away to make way for some sunshine. Temperatures reaching 40 degrees Celsius, so don't forget your sun cream. And let's get ready to hit the beaches. You best get your speedos out, Barry. Back to you. Thanks for watching CR Open News. Join us again, same time, same place, same channel.